Amazon Cloud Watch is a monitoring and management service, whereas Cloud Tail is a service that enables governance, compliance, and auditing of AWS account. In this video, we will be covering monitoring with AWS Cloud Watch and its architecture, auditing with Cloud Trail and its architecture. In the end, we will also share details about a free AWS masterclass, which will not only help you understand basics, but it will also give you an idea of the learning path to follow. It would be helpful, especially when you are preparing for AWS certification. That's AWS Certified Solution Architect SAA CO2, which is an associate level certification. Welcome to another episode of AWS video series from K21 Academy, where we take you from complete beginner, covering architecture, securing applications, to all the way designing cost optimized architecture, including networking, storage, analytics, messaging, and auto scaling, as well as how to prepare for the AWS Solution Architect certification exam. We have taken a clip from one of our certification training program on AWS Solutions Architect, that's SAA CO2. And in this clip, our expert will talk about AWS CloudWatch and CloudTail. So, this is a clip taken from a module on Introduction to Cloud and AWS. Let's hear from an expert on the same. In this lesson, we are going to look at auditing and monitoring, where audit dictates who did what and when and why, so you can track back. And monitoring is to make sure that system is behaving as expected. So first, let's look at CloudWatch. First of the service is CloudWatch in this field, which is a monitoring service. So CloudWatch is a monitoring and observability service uh, targeted for DevOps engineers, operations, site reliability engineers, or managers to make sure that your system is behaving as expected on that. So CloudWatch provides you all the data, insights of uh, actionable insights, uh, which helps in monitoring your applications and uh, respond to a system-wide performance uh, changes so to make sure that your, let's suppose your website uh, response time needs to be uh, under a, uh, a second, whether it's behaving that way or not, is all the services are uh, working as expected or not. And it also gives you a single play, um, view of your operational health of the system. Now, you can also use CloudWatch to uh, detect any anomalies in behavior of your environment. So like suppose every time it takes uh, 30 seconds or maybe five seconds or system takes whatever number of uh, um, seconds to uh, respond to a request. And if it goes above that, then you, it uh, sets an, uh, it notifies you. You can set alarms, you can set notifications, you can uh, trigger maybe calls onto the system so that resp respective uh, person can handle that or you can also set uh, actionable items or actionable um, automated actions basically uh, so you can say send a message or inform someone or maybe start another instance and so on the cloud which will also help you in troubleshooting any issues and discover insights into the application that tackles if there's any problem so that's CloudWatch. so this is a, um, a uh, architecture of CloudWatch. basically you have a metric server inside that that is constantly monitoring the performance of your underlying uh, virtual machines the applications running on top of that and it's feeding the data into the um, other systems like statistics and alarm which is using other services like sns and then you have things like simple notification service to uh, notify your systems. And you can access these from the AWS console as well. Then you have a cloud trail, which is uh, nothing but your auditing purpose. It basically uh, tracks who did what and when. So let's suppose you modify your delete or you someone changes the configuration, it will track all this. So cloud trail is a auditing system which enables um, governance, compliance, auditing, and a risk auditing of your AWS account. So it will be, it's constantly tracking the uh, logs, uh, monitoring the system and retaining all the data into the audit event log system. CloudTrail prov uh, provides you events to uh, on history of AWS account, whether you're doing it from command line, you're doing from APIs, you're doing it from AWS console. It will track all of these um, so that if your security team wants to know, thus you can track the system, what happened, or you can go back or to the changes that happen. It will also help you in troubleshooting um, some of the um, issues that could be related to security or normal uh, audit compliance point of view. So that's CloudTrail. This is an architecture where you have 
uh, configurations being changed either from the AWS console or SDK software development kit or command line, which are uh, monitoring or modifying different services. So CloudTrail will pick up any event changes and store into either you can store in a bucket at the store uh, or in you can source that uh, event onto the external system for auditing purpose and then you can send notifications uh, through sns which is a simple notification service which i'll see in a little bit later um, so what we are doing here we have three different cloud trails um, which is sending the data to the aws bu bucket and that bucket you can then generating events and using functions which is lambda that we saw earlier and feeding the data into my security information and event management same uh, system uh, i'm feeding that data so that's aws cloud trail so for auditing monitoring purpose you have cloudwatch as well as cloud trail so that was a clip taken from one of our lessons from step-by-step -step training program on AWS Solutions Architect Associate Certification. I would like to invite you for a free 90-minute session with AWS Certified Expert Trainer, where we will talk about the AWS Solution Architect course and share information about getting certified by using our step-by-step -step roadmap to go from complete beginner to a certified AWS Solution Architect. If you're interested, register for a free class by going on to k21academy.com slash AWS SA02. Additionally, we will also show live demo creating S3 bucket and making the data available to the entire world. We will also share information about the certification exam. So you can register for free by going on to this URL k21academy.com slash AWS SA02. I will see you in another episode of AWS video series from K21 Academy. Till then, take care.